Hello and welcome to the world of building design. This is Revit MEP uh, sprinkler system design tutorial number 13. Uh, in this tutorial, I would like to uh, focus on two subjects. One is adding some more accessories to our sprinkler line and, um, and the model that we have developed so far. And the other subject is that I would like to show you how to tag uh, some of your uh, model or some of the piping and uh, equipment that we have um, developed so far. So basically we want to put the tag uh, on the piping, the, the size and the abbreviation of the pipes and uh, other accessories that we have developed so far. So as you remember in the previous tutorial we overviewed um, uh, one of the manufacturer uh, Revit tool and Revit model. Uh, so if you if you look at the previous tutorial, you would see how they have uh, developed a number of uh, uh, sprinkler system families that you can uh, you know uh, use and download as a plugin and add to your Revit uh, software to to help you in in the design process of a sprinkler system. Um, so. Okay, so going back, um, if you remember, I go back to our 3D view again, just to show you what we developed in terms of the uh, riser valve assemblies and uh, other accessories coming with it. We downloaded it from the Viking website, added to, to our pipeline on the riser side. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to bring a number of other accessories, valves to add to, to this line. So let me just go back into our visual style and change this into hidden line. So we we'll still have a two liner um, in our model. So I'm going to go into level one, floor plan 2D. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the medium uh, level of the detail view. Okay, I would like to add a check valve to this line right in here. So I'm going to bring uh, a check valve family. So I'm going to go into insert tab and then into load family. When you are in the load family, <clears throat> you have to basically come into pipe and then into the valve directory and then while you're in the valve directory there is a big a number of directories of the different type of valves that you can use depending on your type of design type of your system you have to select that i'm going to go into the check valve uh, category in here and then from check valve because our piping type is uh, threaded type piping I'm going to use this option M underscore check valve that underscore 10 to 100 millimeter threaded valve. This is so basically you can select the valve between these two sizes. So I'm going to load this into our model. And once that's loaded into our model, I go to a system tab and then I go and find the pipe accessory. Uh, command on the top by selecting the pipe accessory and basically I come to to the valves and basically to this category I have to go up and find my check valve 10 to 100 so as you can see the ratio or red range of the pipe size that you can use this valve for is between 10 to 100 millimeter because our valve um, our pipe size is 80 millimeter or basically 3 inches in diameter, I'm going to use um, 80 millimeter here. So, interestingly, as you have your valve hovered on this line, you see the size of your valve, um, you know, symbol changes. So make sure that <clears throat> your pipeline turns its color to yellow. Sorry, to to blue because uh, you want to make sure that uh, you are right in the center of the of the pipe as you can see if I change my cursor uh, I have to come right into the center of the pipe to be able to locate it properly so I'm going to just insert this right in here skip a couple of times I'm going to hit on this 
and I'm going to change the direction of this by pressing on the this arrow here this flipping the direction of the valve okay so it basically allows the uh, direction of the flow going from left to right side we can have a look at a 3d model or we can have a look at this section to see how it looks like I'm gonna have a look at that like this so as you can see this has been put like that I can even reverse this to go up more so basically by pressing on this circle uh, you're going to rotate your valve toward, uh, you know, the direction, not the direction of the flow, but the direction of the, actually, um, the valve uh, rotates along the center of the pipe. So, we can have a look at the 3D model like this. So, you see that we have uh, located the valve right in here. So, I'm going to show you by clicking, you can again change the direction by pressing on this on this circle okay so we have put a check valve on this line again this is just for demonstration purpose we want to see how we have to do the modeling on the uh, on the Revit for the actual design in terms of why we have to use check valve or what is the engineering practice I'm going to record different sets of training in the future for that perspective. Okay, go back to the level one. I would like to add um, one more valve right in here. This line was a 50 millimeter line that we took as a branch. So I'm gonna go into my um, pipe accessory again. Uh, I don't want a check valve in this case. I want to find a gate valve. I use a 50 millimeter gate valve because it is a 50 millimeter line here and I'm going to use it right before this um, this side wall sprinkler head so I'm going to go right into the middle as you can see while I'm here this valve is horizontal but as I'm coming right onto the pipeline the direction of the valve changes automatically by itself so it's it's very interesting feature in the in the Revit so while I'm right here I'm just gonna left click and locate that valve as it is and also I'm gonna go to a 3d model to see how that valve looks like so I'm gonna go back into where my line is so basically that's the that's the valve that we located in here it's a gate valve I'm gonna select this and then because I want to make the the actual um, valve um, accessible for you know operation I want to rotate this downward so I'm gonna press on this rotate button actually I'm gonna do that again on the other one so yeah, basically we can rotate it downward so it can be accessible from below in the room. So this is our side wall and sprinkler head. So basically we located the number of valves uh, into our line. You can continue doing that as necessary for the project, for any project you're developing. Um, so that's basically you can add any other accessory or fitting as, as necessary. Um, the other thing that we want to look at is uh, creating some form of tag. So I want to first change my design or my pipe or uh, the model into a two-liner. So I'm going to change the detail view. So this is the command. Let's go back. Uh, this is detail level view. I'm going to change from medium to fine. When I change that to fine, basically everything is changed to two liners so it's a realistic view of the pipe with two liners with the, with the T's and all the fittings as a two line and now uh, for tagging the system I would like to come up here into this symbol that it says tag by category you can find this into annotative as well in the annotative tab
right? Yes, so you can you can find that in the annotative tab um, as I come in here and then I can select uh, tag by category from here or you can simply select that tag by category from the quick access uh, command bar on the top. So I'm going to select that and now what I want to do as I go scroll into and make sure that this leader check mark is unchecked when you start this process. So as I'm hovering onto the pipe, you see that the pipe size automatically is showing up in here. These are all uh, previously set up with the tag uh, family. Um, we'll discuss that later. So I'm gonna locate that right in here. I'm gonna tag some other of the pipes. So these are the same size. I'm gonna put this in here. Um, okay. And I'm going to tag this pipe. This pipe is a 15 millimeter. Tag it like that. And also this pipe, 80 millimeter. Again, tag it. And these pipes are 15 millimeter. I'm going to tag that like that. Okay, you can you can play with the size of this tag. And to make it more suitable for the, you know, for the size of the pipe itself. Um, and um, one other thing I want to show you is that uh, when you putting tag on your system, you don't, you can select to what you want to represent. You can even represent site the pipe type. The pipe type have their own abbreviation. You can pick and do. Uh, for example, if I go into this tag button on the top, there is a command that says loaded tag in here. So if you press on the loaded tag, you can basically filter on what you want to represent. So if I'm coming to a filter here, um, basically I want to have piping mechanical already exist. So I'm going to come to uh, pipe so in here where we have the pipe placeholder so right now in the loaded tag we have m pipe size tag i'm going to change that to m pipe system abbreviation and then press ok and now while i'm in the tag command category tag command if i come onto the pipe you see the family um, for the pipe abbreviation that was already built is showing up and I can I can put that on my pipe so I can do that with any other pipe that I have if you have a multidisciplinary pipe system you can you know while you're selecting it it just you know put the right abbreviation if it's chilled water system pipe if it is hydronic heating hot water depending on the discipline that you are you are designing for or modeling for the proper abbreviation is uh, is selected. Um, so the other things that you can do is some more cleanup. You select your room tag in here, and then you can nudge it up so that you can not have it right in the middle of the pipe. I'm going to select the second and come down and basically you can make some cleanup around the design that you have done right here. I'm going to select this, put it away from, from the pipe that was modeled here. So you can do this kind of cleanup. Uh, other thing I want to show you is that if you need to bring any other tag that is necessary for the project which is not already loaded, you can simply go to insert tab on the top and then go into insert from insert uh, insert from file. I'm sorry, loaded family, load family, and then from the command that takes you to to the family library. Basically, you come into your you come into the annotative or annotation command here. When you go into annotation. These are all different type of annotation that can be used. For the purpose of this uh, session, you can specifically go into the pipe 
and select any type of um, annotation that you would need to bring um, for the for the project. For example, if I bring say pipe feeding size, then you can see that different type of size that you can bring for 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 showing up on your plan. So that's where you find the annotation tag. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this form of videos, please do not forget to subscribe and also press on the notification button so you can see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted. Thank you.